In this video, we're going to look at a couple examples for finding angles in transversal problems. Level two, it's not much of a jump from the level one problems we looked at earlier. Um, they give us three parallel lines here. And so what you have to do is you either have to um, take this X and corresponds to right here. Right. And so then you can see that, oh, you have a linear pair here. So they're going to add up to 180 degrees. Or you could take the 135 and you could correspond down to here. And then same thing, linear pair that add up to 180 degrees. Um, you could also take the X and go vertical, right? X would be here. And then the 135 is vertical here, right? And now you have same side interior angles or co-interior angles. And we know that those are supplementary. So it doesn't matter how you get there, but you're going to basically have supplementary angles. So X plus 135 equals 180. We're going to subtract 135 from the 180 from, really from both sides here. And we get, what, 45 degrees? So we're going to go ahead and enter that into delta math. X equals, we just put 45, and submit. Boom. Here's our next problem. So again, it gives us three parallel lines cut by a transversal. But this one doesn't even use any relationships from parallel lines. It gives us right away a linear pair. So we know they add up to 180. So it's just simply x plus 123 equals 180. Or you can just go 180 minus 123 on your calculator, and you get 57 degrees. So let's just enter that in. 57. All right, one more. This is like level one, right? They gave you alternate interior angles right away. Um, so it's just going to be x equals... 77 degrees. So they're really not a big difference between the level one and level two problems in Delta Math for this problem set. That's all there is to it.